All right, now that you got your key made, you can use this key to find the combination to any lock that the key works on. So what you're going to do is open up the lock. Now to find the first, the first number in the combination, what you're going to do is rest the shackle on top of the hole and you're going to slowly spin the dial to the right. Now if you notice that it's, it's letting the dial spin until it hits the, the number, the first number of the combination, which in this case it's number 8. As you can see the shackle is getting pulled down because we're on the number 8. So that's, you can go ahead and remember that number 8 is the first number in the combination. Alright, so the hardest part about this three-step three step process is finding the middle number. So what you have to do is actually look into the lock and look at the, the disc spinning inside to determine the second number. So here I drew a side profile um, picture of one of the discs and you can see there's a little notch there. This is what you're going to see a top-down view of the three of the three discs. Basically, the middle disc right here, as you can see, uh, is going to have a notch that you have to line up in your plane of view. And when it's lined up, you're just going to note that the note the number that the combination is on, and subtract 12 from that number. So it's going to be impossible to show on camera because um, it's such a tiny view. What you can use is the key to pull back the latch a little bit. Turn the key. If you need a small flashlight, go ahead and use it. Um, right now I can, I can see in and see the three dials. Basically you're just going to slowly turn the, the uh, dial here to the left until you can see that notch lined up perfectly in your plan of view. So right there I can see, I can see the middle dial has a notch looking right at me. At me. So it's on the number 7, so I'm going to subtract uh, 12 from 7, and that's going to leave me with the number 35 as the second number on the combination. So now there's nothing left to do but just to put the first two numbers in. So I got 8 and then 35 and the third number you're just going to guess and check to get. So just slowly turn it back the other way until the latch opens. And there you go. So the last number would be number 9. So. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and please upvote if you liked it. Thanks.